Good talk, my fellow Raptor Pack. It is me, Mr. Spinosaurus, coming at you with a another video. Now, this video is going to be uh, like my uh, how to fix the Naruto games uh, video. If you want to check that out, go to my channel and search for it. You know, I don't know how to link exactly yet, but uh, check that out. It's pretty cool. Uh, but this video is about how to fix primal carnage skins uh, because I, s skins in primal carnage are pretty much the biggest thing this game has right now uh, besides the dinosaurs obviously and I feel like that most of the skins aren't living up to what they should be so I will uh, kind of give my own opinion on how the devs can fix skins so first off the biggest thing is color color and uh, not necessarily texture but patterns now I say this because many skins are just repaints of other previous skins uh, I don't have an example in you such as Here we go. Such as these guys. You know, these guys are pretty much the same skin, only colored differently. It it doesn't really look like the skin is special. And that's what many people are looking for, is a speciality in their skins. So, uh, reusing certain uh, certain patterns is not the way to go. That that's just not the way to go. Now the biggest way to fix these skins, devs if you're watching, is to change the model themselves. Now I touched upon uh, that a little bit on my uh, top 10 worst skins uh, where I talked about this guy and uh, it, true they did change the model a little bit adding the scars and such but they need to change it more you know and that's one thing that this game really sucks at is changing the models of the dinosaurs it seems lazy and it seems just outright terrible because a lot of games with skins do this they change the model to where it looks uh, it looks more interesting and, you know in in the video of my top 10 worst skins i said that maybe this rex should lose an eye or have one arm or missing teeth you know something that really looks like this rex was put through hell uh, and you know that's just one thing that this game doesn't do very well is change the models of the of the skins now of course you have this rex model and of course you have this Rex model, which has like bigger spikes, but that's not a drastic enough change. And sure, you have take the feathered ones for exa for example. You have this feathered one, you have this feathered one, you have the normal raptor look, the slim, and then you have the spiky raptor. There's so much variety in the raptors. Uh, nothing for Ovi, nothing for Terra. Tupa, you kind of have it. Because you have like different crests and such, but other than that, that's pretty much it. And of course, you have the you have the alpha skins, which just add a whole bunch of spikes. Uh, there's some variation, but it's not a whole lot to where it's interesting, you know. Uh, so I'm gonna go through each and every uh, skin and say what you can add and what you can take away to make the skins better. We already went the, with the Rex. We already said stuff about the Rex. Uh, the spine, oh, what would be cool is a different spine. A different spine would definitely look cooler, uh, because as we know, Spinosaurus didn't necessarily have this style of spine. So it'd be cool to have that rectangular look for the spine. Uh, it'd be cool to have a little uh, gizzard here, like that little flap that crocodiles have under their necks. Uh, that would be really cool to have. Some spikes on the end of the tail. Uh, for Acro, you could have just more spikes along the edges. You could have... Uh, these little crests turn into more spiky uh, d appendages or something. Uh, there's just so much that you can do with these models that 
no one seems to be doing. And it's kind of stupid. Now, another thing that would be cool is cosmetics. Uh, you have the trackers and all that kind of junk. Uh, that's pretty much the only cosmetics you have for tyrants. I think it would be cool if they extra add if if they added extra appendages as cosmetics, such as horns and spikes and uh, maybe even like little tiny wings or something. You know, kind of like a TF2 style look to where it just changes uh, your specific model based upon what cosmetics you have, because. My character in RP, Alpha Lock, he has tusks, like right here, and he has spikes going along his back and everything like that. And it sucks that there's no there's no, no way for me to show people that without directly telling them, hey, this guy has tusks, he can shish kebab you. So I think that would definitely be pretty cool, to add tusks, wings, and uh, other uh, spiky appendages uh, as cosmetics instead of just these stupid tracking devices or the stupid uh, camera or the shackles. I think it would definitely be cool to have that kind of thing. And for the Dilo, you know, you could you could add a neck frill. That would be so cool. Like, whenever it spits, it shoots up that neck frill. That would be an awesome cosmetic. And, of course, you would have to have different uh, spots so you could uh, stack up cosmetics such as that, but it, there's just so much that the prime, there's just so much in this game for the dinosaurs and even the humans that the devs just do not want to touch upon for some reason, and it makes me mad, <laughs> frankly. So I think it would be cool to add, uh, you know, change in models based upon the skins, um, uh, different appendages for cosmetics, and uh, just overall, no repaints. I definitely think that would be a good idea. And it would definitely get people to want more skins and want more cosmetic items from this game. Which means more money for you guys, of course. Uh, but yeah, guys, comment down below what you think or, or what you want from these uh, skins. What you think should be changed to make them better. And... Um, I'd love to hear your opinions. And if you like this commentary and new to the channel, please leave a like and subscribe. I would love a new addition to the Raptor Pack. But uh, otherwise, I'm Mr. Spinosaurus, and I'll see you all later. Auf Wiedersehen!